Okay, welcome to Crafting with Carmel. Um, this week we are going to do a mixed media work and I thought it would be really cool in honoring the great outdoors being the month of June to uh, do a driftwood crab and I thought I would do it on a canvas. Um, so the first thing I'm going to have to do with the canvas is an acrylic pour and I've already mixed up paints to do that with. So this of course will have to dry this week. And what was really cool was we had something delivered and this was the packaging that came in it. And we were like, man, this looks really neat. This would be cool for the net. So what I've done, this is just a sample of it, is I have already, I bought some spray paint and I went and spray painted this a lighter color to look more like a net that we will eventually lay here. But I'm also gonna Mod Podge this to help protect the paper so that it won't disintegrate because this is something I'd really like to hang down in our bay house. So today, this was step one, preparing this. Step two is going to be pouring these colored paints and making us an acrylic pour for the water underneath. So let's get started. We'll start with some blue. And I'm just going to do like I always do, randomly add colors. Ooh, that one looked lumpy. some of my silicone what is this the silicone gel this is what helps create the cells that makes it look the kind of spacey I think that would look cool with the water all right we're gonna use it all because this is a pretty big canvas and I think it's gonna take all of this paint to cover it just from all the past weeks of kind of seeing what we've been doing and I hope some of you guys will play along with this and try this. I had a lot of fun. My son and I went to Dolphin Island and that's where I got the driftwood just walking down the beach and I got small pieces and have come back and have been playing with it to try to assemble something looking like a crab. But I think this is gonna look really neat, be a 3D mixed media work. All right, that's about So let's get to pouring. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't want any glue on it. And I'm just kind of going around because I kind of want these colors everywhere. Ooh, they're really pretty. And I'm gonna try to be patient this week and go a little bit slower with the tilting to keep these colors. I like them blending, but I don't want them too blended. So we're just gonna kind of slowly take our time and just kind of let it start moving around. I mixed these paints up about an hour ago and I'm seeing where some of the acrylic was drying. So I see like a little lump thing right here and I'm gonna get it out because I don't want that in here. Acrylic paint will dry on you so fast. All right, back to blending. I think patience is the key with this and not mixing it too much, having the colors mix too much because sometimes they'll just create mud. I don't think these colors would create mud. They are blending very nicely. Let's blend right in here. And I'm gonna help it in here just a little bit. It's looking like it's not wanting to move. Might have to add some more paint. Yeah, I think we're gonna add a little bit of white right here in this little dot, because I don't like what it's doing. Tilting. All right, we are getting some cool looking formations. Look like little sea creatures in here. Go. 
we've got that one covered. Sometimes this paint just doesn't seem like it wants to move. You can see where it's all dripping. I showed you guys last week where when the paint drips down how I've been saving it. We'll have to see if we can do that after this one because I'm really liking these colors. There we go. We want it to kind of go over the edges here. And I guess some of them's just taking a little more paint to get there. Down here. slowly but surely getting there. I hope y'all been having fun if you've been doing these. Every week it just gets a little more fun, like get a little more creative, like maybe a little more confidence with what I'm doing. So I would think you'd be feeling the same way. All right, we almost have this edge covered. And again, I'm glad I got